So, all right. What does he look like? Oh, come on. You know what he looks like. Close to. I mean, well, he has green eyes, gentle eyes, and he is not so tall as you would think. She wondered if she should say about his teeth, but decided against it. So, what she is saying? All right. What does he look like? Oh, come on. You know what he looks like. Means they have seen him playing on Saturdays and all. So, uh, it is close to him. So, well, he said, well, he has green eyes. Now, she is describing him that he has green eyes, that is, that they are gentle. And he is not so tall. Means he is not that much tall. That he is going to think. She wondered if she should say about his teeth. She wanted to say something uh, about his teeth. But she decided not to speak. So the father had washed when he came in. And his face and arms were shiny and pink. And he smelled of so. He switched He switched on the television. Tossed one of, uh, one of the little Derek's shoes. From his chair onto the sofa and sat down with a grunt. So, washed, had washed means here had taken bath. Means taken bath. Because he came from the office, he was not looking uh, so good. Now he washed his face and all. He had a bath. And after that, now we can see his face, his arms, they were shining and pink. And he smelled of soap. He smelled of soap means now he was looking uh, handsome. So he switched on the television, tossed one of the little Derek's shoes. So he just uh, put it onto the sofa. Took that, took his one of his shoe and just kept under the sofa and sat down with a grunt. So what do you mean by grunt here? Grunt is the low sound from throat which is coming out. Low sound from throat. So Sophie met Danny Kaze, G of said. So G of told that Sophie met Danny Kaze. So Sophie wriggled when she was sitting at the table. So what do you mean by wriggled means moved, moved. She moved from there, from where she was sitting, uh, means she was sitting at the table, she moved from there. So her father turned his head on his thick neck to look. So he was just looking back, turning, turned his head and his expression was one of the disdain. Disdain means not happy. So he was looking in such a way that he doesn't feel happy. So it's true, Geoff. It's true, Geoff said. Geoff told, no, no, Papa, it is true. So, I once knew a man who had known Tom Finney. His father said reverently to the television, but that was a long ago. So, he's saying that, Are, even I too, I know a man whose name is Tom Finney. So, while he was just seeing uh, or watching the television, but that was a long time ago, means that was a very... Uh, old uh, talk but you told us Geoff said so you told me means maybe uh, sometimes he is discussing these things with his children and all so Geoff said yes papa I know it so Kaze might be that good someday so what he is saying maybe someday he can become a good uh, person so better than that even he is the best so he is saying no no he is better but not better, but he's best. So if he keeps his head on his shoulders, if they look after him properly, a lot of distractions for a youngster in in the game these days. So what he's saying that he's very intelligent. He keeps his head on his shoulder means he is very intelligent. Keeps his head on his shoulder means very intelligent. So according to Geoff, Geoff is saying that he is very intelligent intelligent person if they look him properly if we are going to look him properly means we can say that there are lots of distractions distractions here is diversions diversions 
if you are looking at him because he is a youngster and his game every day every uh, many of them they go and see watch they watch his uh, game so he'll be all right he is with the best team in the country so he's saying that he is very uh, good person he is uh, he is in a best team so he is very young yet so he saying he is very young he is older than i am means he is bigger than me so too young really for the first team means there are many uh, players those who are young but they are playing the game like cricket and all so you cannot argue with that sort of ability means if a person whoever it is maybe in his uh, young age or at his old age he is having some ability means so like that even he was very young but he is having so many abilities he is intelligent and everything so that's why we are not going to argue about that sort of ability if anyone is having so he is going to buy a shop so he said from the table so what she is saying him that he promised me that he is going to buy a shop for her her father grimaced You, where would you hear that he told me so so here grimaced means looked angrily grimaced means looked angrily looked angrily means he was not able to believe what she told here so whatever she told he muttered something inaudible and dragged himself around in his chair this another of your wild stories she met him in the arcade you have said and told him how it had been so what he saying uh, he muttered means speaking in a very low voice speaking in a low voice he told that means which is not audible to anyone and he dragged himself around uh, in which he is sitting in the chair so he dragged his chair and then he said this another of your wild stories so what do you mean by wild stories here that is the imagination stories which she is speak which she is just saying to her father or in the family so ji of told that really father she met him so one of these days you are going to take yourself into a load of trouble her father said aggressively ji of knows it's true don't you ji of he don't believe you though he would like it like to so one of these days you are going to talk yourself in a load of trouble so what her father is saying her father is saying to her to don't be in an imagination world come out of that imagination don't be a day dreamer whatever she used to say whatever she wanted to uh, like she used to say and he told that one day if you are telling lies and lies every day one day you will fall in trouble so he said it very aggressively he was very angry so ji of know that it is true don't you ji of so he is saying he don't believe you though he would like to he is just speaking but even her brother he is not going to believe this girl that is sophie the table lamp cast an amber glow amber glow here is the yellow light across her father's bedroom wall and across the large poster of united first team squad and the row of colored photographs beneath so beneath is below below here <clears throat> promise you would tell no one so sorry three of them of the young irish prodigy kaze so prodigy is a young person with talent young person with talent so she is saying that yellow light you can see that is the amber one amber is glowing amber means yellow light is glowing across her brother's bedroom in in one of the wall so she saw the poster which was hanging 
or which was hung in our brother's room so what is there in that uh, particular poster so the poster is of the united uh, team squad the team players they are standing and their row of colored photographs were there below uh, below that colored one three of the young irish players those who are having a great talent they are standing and in that one of them was danny kazi promise you will tell no one so he said so she promised she just told her brother not to share this thing with anyone so nothing nothing to tell is there so what is saying there is nothing to tell so promise job dad's murmur murder me means what she is saying promise me brother that you are not going to speak in front of anyone otherwise dad would murder me means he is not going to murder her means he is not going to um, spare her for this she'll he'll get more angry so only if he thought it was true please job cry sophie you are still at school kaze must have strings of girls so what he's saying that uh what he's saying that uh that it is not true i'm not going christ promise means god promise he said and uh, you are still in the school you are too young and kazi must be the string of girls string of girls means he must be around some many of the girls to give an autograph or something so no he doesn't so he she is saying no no he doesn't do all these things how could you know that he jeered jeered means taunting or teasing her jeered is taunting her or teasing so he is just teasing that how could you know that he is not a string of girls means the the girls they are not around him so if as if anyone would tell a girl something like that means do you think that a boy is just uh, telling everything uh, or his secrets to a young girl yes he did he isn't like that so what he is saying that yes he did that he is not like that he is very quiet not as quiet as all that apparently means not uh, he is not quiet than any other so it was nothing like that job it was me spoke first she is saying that only she was the first one to speak in front of him so when i saw who is it i said excuse me but aren't you danny kazi so then she told that i was the first person to speak uh, to him he he didn't spoke to me but i speak to him and he, she told that excuse me that are you danny kazi and he looked the sort of surprise and he said yes that's right so he told yes she is right Uh, she guessed right that he is Danny Kazi, and I knew it must be him because he had the accent when he was having that that particular accent, that Irish one. So because he, you know, like uh, when they interviewed him on the television, means he know about him that when he was interviewed uh, on first time. in the television so i asked him for an autograph for little derek so i told him that my younger brother he is waiting for me so when i tell him about you he will definitely ask me your autograph but neither of us had any pen or paper so that time both of them they were not having any paper or pen so then we just talked a bit so both of them they talked a little so about the clothes in royce's window whatever the clothes it was been kept in the royce's window they were just talking about them so he seemed lonely there he came alone there so after all that's a long way from the west of ireland so it takes a lot long distance from that ireland and then just as he was going he said if i would care to meet him so next then he promised her that he is going to meet her the next day he would give her an autograph then of course i said i would so she told yes she is ready to meet him again so on that part so on that particular day he can give her an autograph if she would ever show up 
you would believe me now don't you he dragged his jacket which was shiny and shapeless from the back of the chair and pushed his arms into it she wished he paid more attention to his appearance wished he care more about clothes he was tall with a strong dark face handsome she thought it's the unluckiest thing i ever heard he said so now she is again uh, he dragged his jacket which was shiny and shapeless then from the back of the chair he pushed his arms her brother we are talking about geoff here so she wished he paid more attention to his appearance she told that uh, she was just paying more attention to whatever he wore wished he cared more about clothes maybe he came here in the royce's window to have some nice clothes for himself he was tall with a strong dark face he was having a dark face and he looks handsome this is her thought it's the unluckiest thing i ever heard he said so these are the things that geoff told that he is not going to believe her anymore 